Hi everyone, welcome in a new episode of my weekly update on the technology and marketing news of this week. Welcome in a new show. The first item that I want to talk about is uh, the long-term vision of Lyft, you know, the competitor of Uber. Um, they foresee that by 2025, which is nine years from now, that car ownership in big cities will be almost completely gone. So imagine what that would do to different businesses, different uh, mobility structures. Uh, if that would happen in the next 10 years, that's going to change the world completely. And Lyft really believes that that will happen. And they're not the only ones. Companies like Tesla are also going into this field. Uber, of course, is going into this field. So imagine a world without car ownership in big cities nine years from now. There's this Chinese professor that is using face recognition to detect if their students, if his students are getting bored in the classroom. So that's really fun. I think at, uh, it would be fantastic if every school in Belgium or in Europe would have this system so that you could see if people get bored so that you can start to entertain them during your classes. The rumor is still on that Apple is working on something that has to do with virtual reality or augmented reality as they keep on hiring lots and lots of people in this field. So probably in the next few years we may see something from Apple in the field of augmented and virtual reality. To track down the, the guy that did the bombings in New York. Uh, the FBI in, uh, in the States, they send out a, a message, a wanted poster almost, uh, and they send it to all the cell phones that were in the neighborhood of where they thought that guy was. So you could see his name, his description and a picture and it was pushed to all cell phones so that the audience and the citizens could help find that, uh, that terrorist. Microsoft was in the news this week uh, with a fantastic message and, and to be honest I think this may be the first time that I mentioned Microsoft in these weeklies which is a, uh, a shame on myself but I waited until this fantastic moment because this week Microsoft announced that their personal ambition is to uh, make sure that we can get cancer out of this world in the next 10 years. And they say, you know, technology, IT and biology, those two factors or those two industries are merging and um, they want to fight cancer as they fight computer viruses they say it's almost the same thing and we're going to make sure that we have the best biologists in the world to make sure that 10 years from now there's no more cancer in this world and that people don't die from it anymore but it's some sort of a chronic disease and they also want to install some yeah, i don't know how to call it features in our body that can preemptively detect cancer and can kill the disease before it actually hits your body. So um, congrats to Microsoft, this is a fantastic ambition. There was great uh, news from the Chan Zuckerberg Foundation this week. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg and his wife decided to invest in the next decade about three billion dollars into healthcare and their ambition is to make sure that all child diseases will disappear or will be under control in the next 10 years. Probably the rumor of the week is that Apple is talking to McLaren. Uh, we don't know if it's true, but Financial Times said that Apple is really interested in an investment or an acquisition of McLaren to move into the, in the automotive luxury market. Time will tell if it's true or if it's just a joke. So, we're almost getting used to driverless cars. Well, um, we're up to the next thing. Uh, driverless boats in Amsterdam they're testing out if they can make uh, boats autonomous and they have a fantastic name for it they call them rowboats and uh, the intention is that people can move through the canals in Amsterdam or that maybe containers get moved automatically or that packages get shipped automatically and this is an experiment um, of MIT and some Dutch universities to see how this works and Amsterdam seem to be the best city in the world to test them out um, but the, the, the bad news or sad news is that this is almost like a preemptive test in case global warming is lifting the sea levels in big cities so that in the future maybe you won't have streets anymore but that you have canals and uh, if you have canals you don't need driverless cars you need driverless boats so thank god that they're developing this already right now time to talk about ad blockers again uh, there was some new research this week that said that two out of three millennials is using ad blockers and uh, the main reason, of course, is not to get advertising and to keep their privacy more secure. Uh, but the interesting thing is when you talk about advertising, it is mainly about videos. So uh, millennials are really annoyed with the pre-rolls on uh, YouTube, the short advertising messages before they see the video. So they want to get rid of that. And before, because of that, they use ad blockers. So this is really becoming something that is part of the entire advertising industry. And you see the, the challenge for advertisers and, and agencies to get around that and to you know, 
basically deliver better content. I think that will be the consequence that the bar for content marketing will be a lot higher thanks to these new technologies, which is, I think at the end of the day, a good cause both for the advertisers and the advertising industry. So my friends, uh, this was it. And uh, I don't know what you guys think, but I thought this was a really interesting week. We got all this news from Facebook and Microsoft and all these other things. I thought it was really, really interesting this week to see what was going on. So thanks for watching. I hope it inspired you. I hope it gave you an update on what happened in the world this week. And uh, of course, I wish you a great weekend. And don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. Bye bye, my friends. See you next week. Bye.